It's the 8th of April, 1940, deep in the North Sea, west of Norway. Captain Roop is on the bridge of HMS Glowworm. On this day, he will perform such incredible feats of bravery that even his enemy will recommend him for a Victoria Cross. Any contact with renown? Negative, sir. But then a call comes through the voice tube. Ship ahead! Roop looks out from the bridge. In the distance, a hazy shadow moves between the mist. He gets a bad feeling. They can't be British. Demand they identify themselves. Sir, sir, they, they claim they're Swedish. Swedish? What would they be doing here? Those are Germans! Open fire! Later in the film, we'll tell you how you can get into the action by playing World of Warships, the sponsor of today's video. In the fog in the distance, the German destroyer fires again. Pandemonium is unleashed aboard the glowworm as everyone runs for their battle stations. Enemy shells striking the sea all around them. The four 120mm guns turn ominously for the enemy and unleash their salvo. The shells fly across the sky and slam into the water just short. The enemy turns away, attempting to flee the engagement. But Rook won't let that happen quite so easily. Follow them. Full speed ahead. Another ship is starboard. A second German destroyer emerges from the fog and they open fire. Columns of water lift from the ocean as the enemy shells fall short. And Rook immediately orders to change their focus and the glowworm's guns swing towards the new opponent. The ship's guns open fire with a thunderous bang, propelling their shells across the sky. The British narrowly miss their mark, causing gigantic splashes near the enemy's flank. The German vessel deploys a heavy smoke screen as it attempts to disengage. Chase it down. Don't let it escape. Meanwhile, several nautical miles away, the German heavy cruiser, Admiral Hipper, sails with its fleet on their way to Norway, when Captain Helmut Hay is informed of the battle to the south and is ordered to relieve their ally. He doesn't need to be told twice. The 18,500-ton giant turns towards the battle. Meanwhile, HMS Glowworm punches through the waves firing her guns in pursuit of the German warship, when suddenly the lookout spots something emerging from the fog. Sir, massive ship ahead! The battle comes to a halt as all eyes fall on the shadow ahead. Roop takes a look with his binoculars and chills travel down his spine. That's not a friendly. The four Ford 203mm guns fire with a soul-shaking explosion, propelling half a ton worth of shells across the air, straight into the British destroyer and hitting the waves, spewing massive columns of seawater into the air. Deploy smoke screen. Turn south. Warn the Admiralty. Aye, aye, sir. Deploy smoke screen. Deploy smoke screen. Glowworm turns away as fast as she can while black clouds billow from her smokestacks. A shell smashes into the Ford turret and another strikes the hull. The hunter has become the hunted as death rains down upon them until they finally disappear behind the smoke. Their chances are grim. They're completely outclassed, but Root and the sailors are determined to fight. He orders to prepare the torpedoes. Prepare the torpedoes. Yes, sir. Full of determination, the glowworm emerges through the smoke, sailing to the attack at full speed. They are immediately met with overwhelming firepower. Shells strike up and down the vessel, one striking amidships and severing the mast. But still they push on, and the ten torpedoes launch from their tubes. Root immediately turns the ship around, dashing for cover as the cruiser punishes the little ship. Root orders to keep going. He can see the safety of the smoke ahead. Just a little more. 
A shell hits just behind the bridge. The explosion tearing through the wall and taking out multiple sailors and officers. And you too can strike your enemy's ships in World of Warships. Become one of 44 million players in this free-to-play game with over 600 historically accurate ships. Play in ships similar to the ones in this video, like Royal Navy destroyers, German destroyers, or the German heavy cruiser Admiral Hipper. Dip your ships in the latest lifelike seas with more than 40 unique maps with dynamic weather. What's more, World of Warships has been updated with stunning water effects and textures and they keep things interesting by introducing brand new content every month. You can play as a lone wolf like the hero of today's video, HMS Glowworm, or team up with some powerful friends like the German destroyer. Download World of Warships using the link in the description to enjoy a huge starter pack. During registration, use the code YARNHUB to get 500 doubloons, 1 million credits, 7 days premium account time, and a ship. At the Hipper, Captain Hay watches the glowworm disappear behind her smoke as the torpedoes approach. He keeps calm, ordering the ship to shoot for the gap between the encroaching bubble trails. The trail of bubbles come closer and closer, but they pass by harmlessly just a few meters from the hull. On the other side, Roop gathers himself amidst the carnage. Glowworm is rushing to disengage, sailing away from the battle at full speed, hoping the smoke and torpedoes give them a way out. But then Roop looks back and witnesses the horrifying sight of an intact Admiral Hipper emerging from the smoke. The bombardment returns in full force, landing brutal hits on the small vessel. All hopes are dashed, they're alone incapable of winning or escaping, but they won't go down without a fight. Turn around and ram it! Aye, aye, sir. HMS Glowworm speeds through the waves, dashing amidst a rain of high explosives. The Hipper unleashes all it has, guns big and small firing away at the approaching vessel. Captain Hay can't believe his eyes as the ship races towards them. The reality of what he's witnessing dawns upon him, and he orders immediate evasive maneuvers. But it's far too late. The glowworm is dead set on its path. opens a gash on the Admiral Hipper and completely shreds the glowworm's bow. The British warship lists rapidly and Captain Roop orders to abandon ship. At the Hipper, the ship is taking in water, but Captain Hay is informed they'll be able to contain it. Then he looks back at his opponent, burning and sinking. It's rolled over on its side and he can see sailors sitting upon the sinking hull. On the water, Captain Roop hangs on to one of the life rafts with dozens of his crew. They're amazed to see the Hipper returning with rescue ropes hanging off the side. One by one, they're welcomed aboard by their once foes and given medical attention. Captain Hay oversees the operation, impressed at the bravery and will of the British crew. In the water, Roop desperately tries to save everyone. Many men are far too weak to hold onto the ropes and they fall back Help! to the sea. Help! He tries to get them back to give them a second chance, but they're limp, they can't. Roop himself feels his strength leaving him. The frigid waters are sucking the life from his body. With a heavy heart, he realizes there's nothing he can do and grabs a rope. The sailors of the Hipper pull on the rope lifting the captain from the waters little by little. He holds on with all his strength left, but it's too much. His grip weakens and the rope escapes from his hands. Roop falls back into the sea. 
never to be seen again. Of HMS Glowworm's 146-man crew, only 31 would get to return home. A couple of months after the battle, Captain Hay would find a way to get a message through to the Royal Navy. In it, he detailed Captain Roop's incredible heroism, the stunning fight of the HMS Glowworm, the ship's sacrifice, and Captain Roop's dying acts. In the end of the letter, he demanded Roop to be decorated for his actions. Hay's detailing of the events would turn out to be pivotal, and with it, coupled with survivors' testimony, Captain Gerard Broadmead Roop was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross for his gallantry, five years after his last stand. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and please watch more videos of ours. Thank you.